Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel. What we're going to be doing today is just go ahead and work a little more on our console RPG. Now, uh, what I want to do is, since we've done a bunch of other stuff, like we've done a bunch of stuff in the menu here, except load characters, we aren't finished with that yet, but I think we'll save that for a while. What I want to work on is the, you know, actually preparing for the travel, travel uh, thingy travel function and just go ahead I, I was thinking it's gonna be some kind of event based thing where sometimes when you press travel you're gonna meet an enemy you can attack that enemy or flee but that enemy is gonna be randomly generated depending on the character's level and that you'll be able to fight that enemy in some auto battle and it'll drop some item or gold or something like that now and you'll get XP as well uh, of course and then traveling itself is gonna give you a little XP depending on uh, what you find and stuff like that. You might find treasures, you might find like a group of enemies or something, whatever. We'll, we'll just see what we'll do there. But I think we can start by making an enemy class. Now I was checking through and I think we missed one thing in character. And what we missed was a, we have a defense thingy. We need an int accuracy thingy as well because we don't want to be able to hit all the time. Now accuracy I was thinking is going to depend on Let's see this. Let's just add that. Accuracy equals zero. Let's just go ahead and make a get accuracy thingy as well. Uh, let's just copy this. Bam! To be lazy, this get accuracy, this accuracy. Bam! So now we're good. Now, accuracy, I think, is going to depend on this accuracy equals this um, kind of intelligence I was thinking this and dexterity so this just like defense actually kind of not exactly but this dexterity this dexterity and uh, divided by actually this dexterity out of intelligence and then the weapon itself might have some kind of accuracy bonus and stuff like that so I was thinking this dexterity actually just that dexterity divided by 2 so we don't get a too big of a number okay that might be just for now just for now just so we have something going on here um, and we'll add a accuracy thing here this accuracy Accuracy, set points to string, defense. Did we add defense here even? And what is this? Get a string. Now I already have a print stats function. Why do I even have a get a string? But okay, fine. We'll just. Oh, this is for saving. Oh, yeah, this is for saving. Never mind. I forgot. But yeah, that's cool. So we have accuracy now. Now let's just see if this works. Um, just because I'm a noob and you never know. Character name Lelelelel, -le -le -le. and let's go ahead and press 5, and we have a accuracy stat, which is 2. That's cool. That's cool. That's really cool. And, alright, let's just get started. Let's go ahead and add a class. Let's call it Enemy. Now, this is going to be kind of a quick thing here. Uh, virtual Destructor, Enemy, Enemy H. Alright, put Enemy H here. Bam. I don't know why I can't move this. Alright, that wasn't my intention. Uh, whoops, that's not my intention. That is not my intention. Okay, we'll just leave it there. Um, so we have a constructor destructor. Now, like I said, it's going to depend on a level. So int level, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's put it to zero as a default value. Int level, you don't want that uh, initialization there. Or what do you call it, default value there. And then we'll make a private section, private section. All right, so the enemy is going to have an HP, int HP, um, int HP max. We're going to have an int, well, actually, you know what? We're going to have a level as well. Int level, and then int damage min, int damage max, and then uh, what else can we have? Uh, a float drop chance float drop chance we want a defense and a a accuracy value as well 
a defense and accuracy value. Uh, int defense. Int accuracy. Now we're going to have to kind of kind of balance these out as we go along later. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to do that. We're going to have to make sure they can miss and can be dodged and dodge as well. Now dodge, actually, you know what? Mm. Yeah, we'll just leave that there right now. Uh, and what else can we have? Drop chance, defense, accuracy. Come on, help me out, guys. I don't know. You're probably screaming at your screen right now. This and that and that, that, that but I don't know. We'll just start off with this, I guess. Um, this level. Whoops. Level equals level, basically. Just like that. We're going to have to include something, actually. Uh, include std lib dot h because we need rand going on in here. Uh, this hp equals this hp max and we're gonna calculate hp max. This hp max is just preliminary or whatever you call it just for now uh, level times 10. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, this damage image min equals this level times 4 this damage max equals this level times 5. Now we're gonna have to, like I said, somehow uh, make this constructor a lot more detailed and a lot better customized to the character's level so it's always difficult, it's never easy, you know, it's always gonna be a little difficult and your enemy sometimes might be a little weaker than you, sometimes stronger than you and then yeah so on and so on. So we're gonna we're gonna have to balance that out. But for now, we're just gonna give it some random values. Uh, this drop chance equals rand. Here we go. Hundred. Let's just say that. This defense defense equals. Let's just say rand. Actually, rand. I don't know. What else can what can we do? A hundred. This is gonna be some kind of dodge chance. I don't know. We'll just for now. Uh, this. Accuracy equals random 100. Okay. So we'll just do that for now. For now. Now, what kind of functions could we need in here? We would need a, to check if it's alive, bool is alive. Uh, let's call this inline as well. Bool is alive. It's going to return this, return this HP. Uh, what could you do? Greater than zero? Then it's going to return, if HP is greater than zero, it's going to return a true. If HP is less or equal than zero, then it's going to return false. So it's alive is going to be a false right there. What else can we do? We can get std. Oh, wait, whoops. Why isn't that working? Uh, let's see. Include string. Character. Go into character and include enemy because this is where we're going to be able to attack the enemy or be attacked by the enemy so we'll just have character handle all that stuff um, or we could have game handle all that stuff I'm not sure I'm not really sure but for now we'll leave that there for now and then we'll change that as we go on but uh, yeah uh, let's do std string um, get as string and then we'll just do const on that. Um, copy that, paste that, make a function out of it. Bam, enemy, get a string. All right, so this is the pain in the butt cheeks part because we're gonna have to return uh, a level, level. Oh my god, okay, level, we're gonna have to return HP damage, defense accuracy, and drop chance. This is gonna be pain. Whew. Well, let's just go ahead and do it. Uh, to std to string um, this level and then plus a new line and plus. We'll just copy this to the bottom. HP equals HP HP equals uh, bam plus. Um, I'm lazy. Okay, I'm really lazy. So, HP. Whoops, I shouldn't have done that. Actually, we need that. Um, HP max. 
So we're just going to remove this. There we go. We'll copy the whole thing. You know what? We'll copy the whole thing because we need a whole thing and then the whole thing. And then we're just going to do damage max. And make a dash in there. Uh, damage min. And then we'll say damage, damage. Just like that. And now we're on to the next part. Slash n plus we'll call this um, defense. Defense. We will make a accuracy. Accuracy. And we'll make a drop chance. And drop chance. Bam. And we're good. We have a function that actually just prints out our enemy to make it a little easier for ourselves. Now, and then we need a void take damage const. We'll have a uh, integer for return or get damage. And then we'll just take const here. Just like that. So these two we need to create. Take damage. We can make these inline as well. We don't need to make them, define them over there. Uh, this HP minus equals damage. Whoops, I wrote that in the wrong place, but we'll just switch that over. Just like that. And then int damage. All right. Why is this not working? Oh, which, pfft, not cost. Okay, this is going to be cost. So, return, again, wrong. Um, return, rand, uh, damage, this, damage max, minus this. I think this is the way you do it. I'll have to check this out later. Um, but I think this is the way you do it. Boom, we'll remove that semicolon right there, don't forget that. Uh, ran this damage min, this damage max. So a bigger number minus the lesser number, I think you'll get the right correct module. I don't know, don't kill me if this is wrong, but we'll we'll manage this a little later. So we have a few functions ready. Is alive, take damage, get damage. And then uh, we'll do a inline int get exp const and this is going to give us e e an exp if the thing is dead so get exp so this is going to return um, this level times 100 exp basically I guess uh, something like that just whatever just write something in there just so we have the function ready to go and get a string alright so what we can do is we can try out our class here uh, enemy e and just give that a level of rand let's say uh, 10 plus 1 so it's gonna go from 1 to 10 and let's say e dot std c out e dot get a string std end line Let's just see if this works now, guys and girls. Since I'm a noob, something wrong? Nope, nothing wrong. Okay, so drop chance was completely off, but we'll have to see why. Um, accuracy, defense, damage, it's level 8 carry. That's a bit much defense, I guess, I don't know. Let's see if that was just a freak. Yeah, that was just a freak thing, we got zero in there. Um, but so 63, everything's working, level 3. So yeah, we can make enemies, basically. And uh, we'll be able to make a an array of enemies later. We'll have to make a dynamic array for that. Or a vector. Actually, we can use vector for enemy. But yeah, let's go ahead and just call it there. So this is a, a an episode just to make enemy. Make sure we, we fixed our character class. Made sure enemy is completed. We'll go ahead and, before we quit, we'll go to game. I'll prepare a void game 
travel travel thingy okay now this is going to be a thing in game uh, travel 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 void travel void travel now an event class we'll make an event class next and we'll focus on the event class and then we'll try to make an enemy and try to make some combat going so yeah stay tuned for the next episode thank you for watching thanks for all the support i hope you're working hard this episode wasn't that much about learning i guess it's just the next step into uh preparing for for all the other fun stuff but yeah keep watching check out the old videos and again i love you guys for supporting all that stuff so uh work hard and i'll see you in the next episode peace